Welcome to Look Around. News, sport and features from Cumbria and the south of Scotland. With just weeks until Scotland goes to the polls, we ask how Scottish independence would affect the farming community. Also on the programme, the number of complaints against Cumbria police rises by nearly a third in the past year. It's 50 years to the day since two men went to the gallows in the last of Britain's hangings for their part in a Cumbrian murder. And we take a closer look at one of Carlisle's best-known streets through the eyes of one of our high street heroes. Hello from Ian and from me and welcome to Wednesday's programme. First this evening, as the countdown continues to the Scottish independence referendum, arguments from both sides of the debate have emerged from the farming community. Four former presidents of the National Farmers Union in Scotland have now backed the campaign for independence, among them a farmer from Dumfries and Galloway. But other officials argue that Scottish agriculture benefits from the broad shoulders of the UK on the international stage and that staying in the UK gives the farming community the best of both worlds. Joe Pike reports. <laughs> 